Hello, my most awesome second graders. I'm going to talk to you today about a story map. And I know you've done, uh, there's been one before that you had to do. This one is a little more detailed. <clears throat> but, I mean, the first one, the story title, I mean, that's pretty easy. All you have to do is, like, look on the front of the book, and there it is. So that one, everybody should be okay with that. Now the setting. It says, where does the story take place? Now when it says, where does the story take place, it's kind of, it means, where is most of the time in the book spent? Is it at someone's house? Is it out in nature? Is, where is it at? Or with, is it with someone? So where is the setting? This one's kind of easy too. Now they met at the airport and Gong Gong is from China, and, but mm, hey, that's not really the setting of, the, of this story. So be thinking about when you're reading the book or listening to the book, where is the majority of this story taking place? Characters. Who are the, the important people in the story? Well, I kind of don't like the way that's worded because if they're a family, they're all important in the story. So, who are the characters in the story? The problem. What is the problem in this book? What conflict is the character having? Is the character, are the characters having a problem? In this case, I think both of them are having a little bit of a problem. And, uh, well, if I say that, I'd give you... <laughs> You kind of give it away. I hope that I want you to. I would want you to think. So, kind of giving you food for thought, if you will. So, the problem is something that's causing issues between within someone or between a few, two people or more. Now, then, important events. What are the important events that came in line? Like, um, Gong Gong got to the airport and found out that Helen and her other brothers and sister couldn't speak English or couldn't speak uh, Chinese and he couldn't speak English so um, that was a pretty important event because that right there kind of started it all off where did it go from there okay and list them what are the important events you can even put numbers two three I would write small in this one if you if you're doing it by, by hand because uh, there's several events that lead up to it. Now then, what was the solution? I'm sorry, I keep doing this with my hand because I've got a cover over this and it doesn't it wants to wrinkle. So what is the solution? How was this problem solved? And it's, uh, it's pretty easy to figure out how the problem was solved if you figure out the problem. Now then, down at the bottom, it says the theme or a lesson. What does the author author want you to learn from this story. Now this might mean something different to each person. Okay, because there's actually more than one lesson to be in, to be learned in this book. So I'm going to grade pretty literally on this one because I think I'm going to get a lot of different answers and that's okay. So parents, as always, you can help them with their uh, penmanship capital letter at the beginning of a sentence, punctuation at the end. Um, make sure they're using the space and not starting a sentence here and then one here and then one here and then one here until we they basically have a diagonal line going. Um, ask them, does it make sense? You know, uh, you know, would it would it sound better like this or like that? And so you can give them hints like that, but please don't give them the answers although we don't do anyway. But there's one other thing that I want to show you. I kind of thought it was really cool, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm trying to go slow so it doesn't make people dizzy. And it's in the book itself. Now, I don't think they show this in the uh, video. So watch carefully. It, there's two different kinds of handwriting, isn't there? Helen, who do you think that is? Oh, they look different. Well, let's see if this will help us over here. Hmm, what is this? Okay. 
Now, I looked at this. When I first looked at this, I thought, am I calling, is I saying this wrong? Because is it the double O sound, ooh? But, you know, because goose, um, loose. So is it supposed to be goo goo? I don't know. Ever since I read this book several years ago, I've been calling him Gong Gong. That's the grandfather. So, um, Baba, which is dad. And this is how you say, uh, write Baba in, Jap or in Chinese. Now, here is one through eight, the numbers. E, R, Sun, Se, Wu, Leo, Liu, Qi, Ba. That's kind of fun. And you can write the numbers. Isn't that cool? One line, two lines, three lines, and then it goes to this. Hmm. Here's how you say, um, Xia Hai. In is silver. Hua, flower. Huen, culture. Ray, sharp. Uh, Hun Hao, very good. Hun Hao. So if I write that on your <laughs> on your portfolios, you'll know what it means. Hun Hao. But I thought this might be kind of fun for you guys to play with. Maybe make something out of it. All right. Thanks, and you guys have a good day. I hope that explains and helps just a little bit without giving the answers. And you guys. Have a good day. Enjoy your assignment.